It's another glorious day and the lampposts are all finely sorted and prepped. So we've got them here, sanded them all down, got as much of the paint off as we possibly can. Um, so it's all sort of flat and all the flaky bits are off. We've given them a clean down with methylated spirits. So they're all sort of got all the dirt off, all of the residue and all ready for paint, which is brilliant. So we're just gonna go over with some um, metal undercoat just to, to give them a first coat and then after that we'll be able to get some top coats on of the white gloss as well so we're going to go with white just because everything else is white here and I think if we do go with any other colour it's just going to sort of stand out in the wrong way so if we do it like a dark green or black or any other colour it's not going to be sort of in keeping with everything else that we've got here so and that's a bit boring and same old same but it needs to be sort of in keeping with the rest of the stuff that we've got here on the land. So, yep, white it is, and you never know, we might put a couple of little bits of gold on once they're done, just to sort of break it up a little bit and put some highlights on it. But yeah, all rewired, all prepped, sorted, and ready for paint. So we'll get sorted now, get the first coat on, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be able to get the second coat on and then the third one tomorrow and then they're all sorted so I will crack on now
so undercoats are all on and the lampposts are looking fantastic we went with two coats of undercoat so they're both on now because it's so warm they're drying so fast as well so we've got one done the first thing this morning and we've got one done at dinner time so we're going to leave these dry and then hopefully we can start getting the first gloss on this afternoon and then we'll only have to do one more which will be brilliant but yeah just great getting them back and then hopefully in the next couple of days we can start getting them in place and get them turned on which will be fantastic but we were just talking while we we're painting them what sections to do gold so we're not 100% yet but I think we might do some of these little sort of leaf patterns on the arms we'll do a couple of them and then there's like a band on the actual uh, like lamp post itself we'll do a band of that just to, to break all the white up as well so yeah good job done but while these are drying instead of sitting around we thought we may as well go and look at the pillars for the entrance gate now the gates are all painted white they're looking lovely and the little pillars in front of it they're all nice and clean so we may as well look at jet washing the actual stone pillars and bringing those back and making those look nice and fresh as well so yeah i'm going to get the jet wash get all that set up and then we can look at getting those all sorted So I've got the first wash done on the gate posts and they're looking brilliant already just with getting the first wash on there and getting all the dirt off. Now that's done, I've just put some bleach on just to try and kill the last bits of like algae and stuff on there and then I'll give them a wash over again. But just seeing how clean and bright they are now it just looks amazing, especially with the gates as well. Now they're all painted, just getting a, a nice clean entrance is it's just brilliant. I know we did say that we were going to leave it all looking obviously aged and stuff but I think now the chateau has been cleaned and the railings are painted and everything like that it's just looking so fresh so we want to carry that on and clean it a little bit more so while that's killing the rest off I'll do another coat in a minute just to get all the last bits off but mum's cleaning the original fountains out and dig in the trench so we can get the wiring in and she just shouted us over because she's uncovered sink which she said's a bit creepy so we'll go over now and see what she's found go over and see mum busy digging away bless her back to digging yes <laughs> my favorite thing <laughs> your favorite thing look what i found ah 
Oh my god, what is that? A job one? Oh. Look, it's still got the teeth in it. Oh, the nose is oh, well. The, the oh, <laughs> oh, good. Full yeah. job on. It must be a cow, it must be cattle. It must be a cow, yeah. Yeah, because there's that as well. That looks like some a joint or something. Yeah. There, doesn't it? Oh, what's this? A lampshade, uh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh it's God, a bit like that a time team, isn't it? Isn't it gross? It's yeah. Another teeth in it. Little it's time awful. team digging away. <laughs> I haven't found any more yet, so I'm hoping that's all that there is. No treasure yet. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of metal. I don't know what that is. A bit of metel. No, I don't know what it is. That only looks good. Good Yeah. So, so no. Nothing worthwhile apart no. from a couple of bones <laughs> and a lampshade. <laughs> I've still got a bit more to go yet, so there might be some more. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's creepy, as. It's awful, isn't it? Oh, oh God. The teeth are loose on it. Yeah. So the idea is we're going to try and drill through this, aren't we? Yeah. It, to get the wire through. We don't know how far down it goes, do we? I mean, I'm already, I don't know, a few feet down there. And it's still going. Yeah. So. And when we spoke to people, they said that they were really, really deep. deep. Yeah, that's so. why they got filled in, didn't they? For, because I think at one point they said in. a cow fell in, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this might be the so mysterious <laughs> cow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get back out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we're going down deep enough for it to be safe, the wires to be safe, it'll be okay. Yeah, so, and then in time we'll get it all cemented in mm -hmm. to get a decent base once we know what the fountains are going to be like. Yeah. And then we can go from there. Yep. Brilliant. Right, we'll crack on. Yeah, we'll get this measured. Yeah, no more bone finding. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> bone collector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> And that's it for today and what a day it's been it's been busy busy and with the sun out it's been glorious but we're absolutely knackered so pillars are both clean now and they just look fantastic just when you're approaching the chateau just seeing them now and the blending with these new ones that we've made so we still need to get a couple of bits on them to obviously finish them off really we want to put some iron work on them and to get some pineapples on the top and then obviously get the lamp posts in to finish them off and then it'll just properly lead you up and it'll just look brilliant but yeah getting them clean getting the chateau clean it's just so like inviting now and it's just sort of drawing you in clean the planters out ready for some new plants in there 
So we had some seeds that someone had sent us. We had some pansies and some petunias, I think they were, or sophenias, one of them. So we've put those in to see if they come along, but if not, we'll look at some of the other stuff that people said, so geraniums or stuff like that, and see how they go. And just have a bit of colour at the front again. But I'll talk you over so you can see what we've done today and then go from there. So as you can see, coming to the chateau now, just looks so much better with the pillars all clean and how clean they've came up as well, just with the jet wash. And then another absolute nightmare of a job was getting the wire through for the fountain. Now, we thought it was bad when we were drilling the holes in the cellar, but to be honest, I think this was a lot worse doing this one. And it was never ending. So it doesn't really look that big, but when you look directly above it, you can see it's twice as wide. It goes down at an angle. So drilling it, it was crazy. But conduit's in all the way through now, and then it's ready there for when we eventually get some fountains so we can look at those in the future it'll be good and then the lanterns as well lanterns are all painted and all sorted so we've got the posts and the tops there and again they're just brilliant now now they're fully white they're absolutely lovely so my idea was to paint gold so let us know if you think it's going to be nice or if it's going to be too much is that little scroll there and then probably that one there because you'll have a still a big band of white coming right the way around so it comes down there and around so if I'm doing them gold, then that is like a band. So you'll have like a little scroll, the band. And that'll probably be it on there. I don't know if doing these would be a bit too much. The little leaves on the top. And then we were talking about just doing that band on the lamppost. So it's just breaking it up and it's not too overpowering. But let us know what you think, if that's going to be too much, or if you think it'll just add to it nicely just to, to break up all of the white really. I could even do these lines. That'd break it up nicely and go with the other one. I'd do like that and them two. Or do all of them and the scrolls. Yeah. Yep. It's something to think about. So we're all happy with the lamp posts. They're looking fantastic. Happy with what we got done with the gate posts because we didn't really plan that to be honest and it's another good job done and then getting the conduit in and the wire for the fountain as well and like I said that's just been a nightmare we've still got one to do on the other side and then that's it all done and all in place really and hopefully next week we'll be able to get the lamp posts in and then turn them on and have a bit of light at the front as well which would be great but yeah, it's been another good day. Great weather, as you can see. I think I'm a bit sunburnt now, so I'm gonna to be suffering tonight and tomorrow. And I think I've got a bit of hair fever as well, as you would have noticed during the video where I've been sniffling and I sound a bit bunged up. But it is what it is. I don't mind, we've got summer coming. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it's been great just getting outside and getting all these work like these little jobs done and moving forward and hopefully by the end of this year we'll have the front garden a lot tidier and the back garden a lot tidier and that'll be next week's work as well so hopefully we're going to carry on getting the decent weather and we can crack on in there getting the irrigation down getting the edging down and actually creating the, the pathways really which will be exciting so yeah Hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like and subscribe because it massively helps us and we will see you in the next one thank you very much bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau 
then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.